Hey everyone, here's another video update for Treasure Corals and today we're going to talk about the issues I'm having with uh, this particular frag tank as well as I'll show you this new addition, the self-made calc reactor that I have uh, put together using a few parts that I had around. So I guess first and foremost um, something strange is going on with this uh, aquarium. Uh, you can see um, the corals have started to not do well at all and everything is covered with this strange algae. Um, it's almost like a bacteria bloom or whatnot. I have no idea what this is. It's um, showing up on the surface here as well. Um, it's kind of slimy, disgusting and I have no idea what's going on but all my corals are closing up in this tank. And if I move them into another tank, they're doing well. So something is wrong. I did massive water changes here um, over the past probably two weeks. And the only thing I can think of is A, I was doing massive water changes and I've added a second light here. Now I've lowered the light intensity by 50% to account for, um, you know, maybe this extreme increase in lighting. But other than that, I have no idea what's what's going on so if you are watching this video and think you can help please write in the comments below let me know what's going on here i even had to take my yellow tank out of this tank because it's just it was something is wrong i was thinking that it might die so the tank is over there something is going on here uh, let me know and the second um update is this calc reactor, which I've pretty much MacGyvered together uh, in about, you know, an hour or so. It's, uh, I'm using a, a stir, magnetic stir that didn't come with it. And I, so this is actually a HANA magnetic stir that I'm currently reusing. And the um, itself, the, the container, this is my old dozing bubble Magus container. I actually just drilled a hole in here so I couldn't find any fittings, so I just plugged the, um, what is it, not 3 8 the, I guess the half inch uh, line and the arrow line, and then I've just siliconed it and it doesn't seem to be leaking. If you have some other ideas, again, I'd really appreciate it because, um, you know, this doesn't give me a lot of comfort. And the way it works is I have this uh, uh, Vectra, dosing pump that just goes into my uh, water container here and then basically i haven't figured out how much i'm going to dose i've just literally hooked it up but it's gonna go in here the water is gonna go in and then uh, the overflow is gonna go in straight into the tank now i found that um, this hana thing i can actually turn on uh, without turning off the dosing pump. I'll show you what I mean. So if I've turned it on right now, and I'm probably gonna make it so that it kicks in every two hours or whatnot. So it's doing it. I kind of found that I can, um, I can find that middle ground where if it's half, um, half intensity, the slush will actually come up up to here and then just kind of stay here. So I, if I'm not going at, at a full speed, um, I think I don't need to actually turn off the um, overall dosing uh, pump so to account for the mixing. So you can see right now it's kind of going at half. I can even increase it a little bit more, but I think that even this is pretty much enough to get the uh, saturation going in the tank. And then once it kicks in, is going to overflow. So I'm going to turn off my uh, feeding mode, which I was just turning on to show you this monstrosity. And this is where we at. So you can see this is kind of where it's going to stay. I guess I can lower it down a little bit. I was, I, I think I overdid it. So I'm going to go at half. Yeah. So if I have it around a half, it's actually going to come all the way down. So again, uh, I'm using about 90 um, grams of calc wasser, and I haven't figured out how much I'm gonna dose here, but I'm thinking that I'm gonna probably start with 400 mils a day and then go from there. But one thing um, 
my pH seems to be climbing already. So we'll uh, we'll monitor the system and figure out what's going on. So once again, thank you for watching. Let me know uh, what I can improve as I really appreciate your comments. A lot of times you give really great ideas. So with that said, have a good weekend and stay uh, safe. Bye.